Good morning, Bath County High School. Today is Tuesday, March 15th, and this is BCTV. Our Honor Sports <coughs> student for the, for the week is Josh Corey. Here's Mr. Eaglin to tell us why he chose Josh for the Honors Board. Hello, I'm Jeff Eaglin. I'm here to recognize this week's Student of the Week. And I want to tell you that everybody out there in Bath County High School has probably heard a nice little metaphor about education. Well, to me, I'm going to give you a different one. Education in the 21st century. Education in the 21st century is not about learning a new technology. It's not about mastering a learning target. It's not even about expanding our minds to new horizons. The 21st century education should be about filling our heart to do better for mankind. And with that in mind, I want to recognize this week's student of the week as Josh Corey. Over the past four years, I wish, witnessed Josh Corey become a fine young man. A young man who actually looks out for all the other people, who leads by example, who's always dedicated to showing the best he can do on any assignment. I've never heard a teacher say otherwise, and I probably never will, because Josh Corey cares about his future, but he also cares about your future. You, Josh Corey, have earned the title of Student of the Week from this man, Mr. Jeff Eaglin. Y'all have a great day and a great week, and behave. When asked about his selection, Josh said, My favorite class is Mr. Eaglin's class because he makes all the content that he teaches fun and enjoyable. I would like to thank Mr. Eaglin for bestowing his English knowledge upon my tired and withered high school body and restoring my faith in high school and all of humanity. Congratulations, Josh. The Bath County High School Reader of the Month, as chosen by Library Media Specialist Aaron Baldwin, is freshman Cameron Holly. Mr. Baldwin chose Cameron because he is an avid reader who loves to read all sorts of genres. Cameron loves graphic novels, manga books, magazines, and regular fiction novels. Cameron loves to read, but also loves great animation. Cameron has currently read several books this school year. Cameron enjoys lots of different materials, but loves Game Informer magazine the most. Congratulations to Matthew Woodard, Sienna Shroud, Lake and Sparks, and Alyssa Williams for winning their Star Events competition. Sign-ups for the Bath County High School Relay for Life team will take place on will take place today, March 15th. A representative, April Wilhoyt, from the American Cancer Society will be in the cafeteria during all lunches for student sign-ups. FBLA members, the Region 5 Leadership Conference will be held on campus of MSU tomorrow, Wednesday, March 16th. Core content teachers will have study island training on Wednesday. Training for our science teachers will be second period. Math teachers will have training fourth period. Social studies, sixth period. And English teachers will have training seventh period. This is a reminder to all teachers that the cutoff date for purchasing is Friday, March 18th. If you need items for your classroom, please get your purchase request into Lana as soon as possible. Friday will also be a club day. Club sponsors, please remember to notify the office if your club is not meeting this Friday. Coffee Tree Books, Miss Workman, and Mr. Baldwin will be hosting a book fair in the library on March 22nd. If you have any book requests, please turn them in to Miss Workman as soon as possible. Don't forget to bring money to purchase books and snacks. Senior cap and gown pictures will be taken on Wednesday, March 23rd, beginning at 8.30 in the gym lobby. Every senior needs to take their cap and gown pictures, even if they do not want to purchase a picture package, so that they can be included in the class composite that will be displayed in the gym lobby. Pricing for BCHS Class of 2016 cap and gown pictures is package A is $30 and it includes one 8x10, two 5x7 prints, and one sheet of wallets. If you choose package B, which is $45, you will receive one 8x10, two 5x7 prints, two sheets of wallets, and a choice of button or a calendar of the graduate. It's time to order your yearbook. Be sure to order your 2016 yearbook by April 1st. The cost is $55. See Ms. Robinson to place an order or visit Balfour.com. There will be a meeting for all seniors and their parents that are attending the 2016 senior class trip to New York City on Thursday, April 14th at 6 o'clock in the BCHS library. Please see Ms. Irwin for information if you are unable to attend this meeting. Seniors also need to turn in a baby picture, a middle-aged picture, and a senior picture for the prom video. Pictures can be emailed or given personally to any senior class officer up until April 15th. Seniors, be sure to get your senior picture and quote into the yearbook staff by April 30th. The best way to submit a photo is via email to Ms. Robinson. You can also bring a photo on a CD or a flash drive, and you may bring a photo to be scanned. However, these do not show up as well in the yearbook. You will also be given a space in the yearbook near your senior picture for a quote. The quote may be up to 100 characters in length, and here's an example. 
The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. If you do not submit a quote, then the previous quote will be used. Attention formal troublemakers from BCMS, Ms. Adams needs your help. Get in touch with Matthew Woodard or Alyssa Williams for more information. The Boot Ranch is offering a great deal for our students to, to do tuxedo rentals for prom. They are offering the following, free shoe rentals with tuxedo rental. This is a $25 value, providing a service for students. The Boot Ranch also makes a donation to After Prom for each tuxedo that is rented. The more tuxedos rented, the more prizes for After Prom. There are two Boot Ranch locations, Mount Sterling and Moorhead. In sports tonight, weather permitting of course, it's the softball team traveling to Lee County while the baseball team have another home game against Fairview. Thursday, the softball team will play Nicholas County at home while the baseball team load up the bus and travel to Richmond Model. Well, that's all that we have for today, but remember, life is a story. Make yours the best stellar. Have a great day, Bath County High School, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.